Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 3.7, 10th question. The chapter is playing with number of classics and the question is find the LCM of each of the following numbers and they have given four questions. After that, they have given one more thing. Observe a common property obtained in LCMs is LCM of the LCM the product of two number in each case like we have to just do the observation here after finding out the LCM of each number given so let's find out so here's the first question so we have 9 and 4 so LCM can be done like there are many ways so here I'm going to use a division method to do it so division method means we're going to divide both the numbers together with a prime number so here I have a 9 and 4 I'm going to divide with a prime number now since 9 and 4 doesn't go in any table, like together they don't go in any table, I'm going to first divide with uh, divide 4 by 2 because 2 is the smallest. I'm going to start with 2, 3, 5 like that. So 9 doesn't go, so write down the next step, 9 again, then 2, 2 is a 4. If the number doesn't go, if the number doesn't divisible by the prime number, we can write down the same number in the next step. Now here we have a 2, so 9 will be same, 2 ones are 2. Now here we have 9, so 3 3s are 9. Remember you should take only a prime number. And here we will get 1, again 3 1s are 3. Keep doing till you get 1 at the end. So here LCM will be, you have to just multiply all the numbers what you got here. right? So I am going to multiply here itself. If I multiply again I require more space. I just want to show all the questions together in a one place. So if I multiply this, 2 2s are 4. 4 3s are 12 and then 12 3s are 36 so LCM will be 36 here you just multiply the prime factor what you got that's it now second question here we have 12 and 5 so 12 and 5 again they uh, don't go in any common table like they go in different table not together so here I'm going to start with 2 because 12 can be divisible by 2. So 2, 6 are 12 and 5 doesn't go. So write down the next step. 6 goes in 2 tables. So 2, 3 is a 6 and 5 doesn't go. So write down the next step. Now 3 and 5 also doesn't go in any other table like common table. So I'm going to take a 3 here first. 3 ones are 3 and 5 in the next step. And here 5 ones are 5. Now LCM will be multiply all the prime numbers what we got here so 2 2's are 4 4 3's are 12 12 5's are 60 so here we got LCM as 60 then the next question 6 and 5 now here only we got 6 and 5 in this step you can see but still we're gonna do it here So 6 and 5 doesn't go in any table together. So we're going to start with 2. 2 3's are 6 and then we'll get 5. Now 3 1's are 3 and then 5. Again 5 1's are 5. So LCM here will be multiply the prime numbers. 2 3's are 6 and 6 5's are 30. Then the last question is 15 and 4 again 15 and 4 doesn't go in same table so I'm going to start with 2 15 doesn't go so write down the next step so 2 2's are 4 and then here 2 1's are 2 now 15 goes in next prime number which is 3 3 5's are 15 and then next 5 we have, so 5 1s are 5. Now LCM will be 2 2s are 4, 4 3s are 12, 12 5s are 60. So LCM is equal to 60. So we have found the LCM of different numbers here. Now they have given to observe something. Observe a common property in the obtained LCMs and they are asking that is LCM the product of two numbers in each case? So whatever we got LCM like in the first case if you see LCM is 36. Is it a product means multiplication product of the given number like 9 4 is 36? Yes, it is correct. And uh, so let me write down here 
9 into 4 is also 36. So it is same. In second case, like 12 and 5. 12 phaiza is also 60. So we can say yes, it is correct. And here 6 phaiza 30, right? So 6 into 5 is 30. And here 15 phaiza is also 60. So we can observe here a property that in for this particular questions for the for the given set of questions, the if I multiply the given numbers, it is same as the LCM what we got. So I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.